Hi, welcome to September Monthly Roundup. I am Diane and joining me today is Marlene. We are excited to take you through the exciting events and activities that took place here at CMU Africa. Thank you, Diane. My name is Marlene Mayanga from Kenya and I'm pursuing a Master's of Science in Information Technology. I am thrilled to be part of this month's Roundup. Back to you, Diane. Our semester began with the Student Guild Welcome Event. The Student Guild hosted a welcoming event for the class of 2026. The event involved different activities like trivia games and talent show, as well as tips to successfully navigate life at CMU Africa, both academically and professionally. The event was insightful, leading to a better connection between the students. The Women in Tech Club, in partnership with the Anita B organization, held an inspiring leadership development event. Ross shares more details on this. Hello. My name is Rose Kimu, MSIT class of 2026, and I am from Kenya. On September 7th, Women in Tech Club CMU Africa, in collaboration with Anita B Organization, hosted an event called Breaking Barriers Together, Leadership Development for Tech Professionals. Some of the topics we learned include time management, communication skills, design thinking, and social media for personal branding. We also had a chance to reflect on the role teachers have played in shaping our personal and professional journeys. We look forward to hosting more events that enable us to grow as future leaders in the tech industry. Together, let us build technology that reflects the diversity of its creators and users. Next up, we had Tautan Innovate Hackathon, where students presented their ideas around improving student experience at campus. Team Olga presented an exciting innovation which we cannot wait to see in the action. Imagine being a student, knowing where you want to go in your career, but feeling lost when it's time to choose the classes that take you there. That's the problem we set out to solve with Olga, our optimized learning and guidance assistant, which won the Tata Innovate Hackathon for 2024. Olga is like having a super smart academic advisor in your pocket that is available to you anytime. It gets to know you, your interests, your goals, and even your preferred learning styles. And using the power of AI, it's able to craft a personalized academic journey just for you. Olga helps you build a course plan that actually fits your career dreams. And the best part is, it also gives you the tools to keep track of your progress, ensuring you're always on track to graduate. We created Olga because we believe every student deserves a clear path to success. By taking the stress out of course selection and enabling students make smarter decisions, Olga is setting students up for success, both in schools and in their future careers. Our dream is to see Olga helping students, not just at CMU Africa, but at universities all over the world. That's right, the end. The hackathons at CMU Africa are about collaboration and innovations. We held the Digital ID Hackathon Awards for Eastern Africa, and Andrew shares more about the objectives of this hackathon. Hi, my name is Andrew Musoke, organizer of the Digital ID Hackathon Africa, a platform that aims to address the shortage of use, uh, contextually relevant use cases that fully utilize the potential of digital ID on the continent and also empower the individuals that can develop, maintain and deploy these systems. We recently awarded our first winners from the Eastern Africa region who demonstrated how digital ID can be used with machine learning to improve the efficiency and transparency of agricultural subsidy programs in effect reducing fraud and waste. If you're a student in the Western, Northern or Southern Africa regions, uh, get ready because we are announcing our next hackathon in November. Hi, my name is Afsana Ineza. During the Digital ID Hackathon, I was part of Team Trice, where we developed a web platform that enhances efficiency and transparency in the uh, agricultural subsidy distribution programs in Africa. It links government entities, farmers and agro-dealers. The government entity registers farmers by uh, associating the farmer's profile with their digital ID and then allocates subsidy to that profile. From there, the farmer can purchase subsidy from any agro-dealer and then agro-dealer don't have to input a lot of information because of digital ID. So the information is synchronized across all stakeholders and that ensures traceability. Another highlight of the month was the launch of the new multi-sport court at TMU Africa. Peter shares more on this. So this month we launched the multi-sport court on the CMU Africa campus. It was an exciting event filled with various sports activities 
such as basketball, volleyball, football, among others. We also had fun activities such as balloon racing, three leg race, and speed racing. The multi sport court is a valuable addition to the student life here at CME Africa. It will help us exercise and relax after executing our assignments. The multi sport court will foster collaboration with our neighboring institutions such as ALU, Kepler, and University of Rwanda. We are grateful to the Student Guild and School Administration for the efforts towards enriching student life here at CME Africa. Lastly, after winning the best poster presentation at the Endava X Rwanda, I had an opportunity to present my project in Dakar. I was able to secure the, the second position in Data Science for Health competition with amazing prizes. I'm so excited to share that the event will be held here in Kigali next year. I hope to see a big number of Titans participating in the event. Applications are open. Visit our website to learn more about the requirements and find out where our next info session will be held. Well, that wraps up this monthly roundup. Stay updated by subscribing to our YouTube channel and all our social media platforms. Go, Go Titans! Titans!